Okay, so for this one, this one is the present value of a 20-year continuous annuity. So that would be denoted as a angle bar of 20 years um, at a continuous rate and is equal to 1.5 times the 10-year continuous annuity which is denoted as this and that as well. So calculate the accumulated value of a seven year continuous annuity. So that would mean we would have to find this amount. So that means that we would have to find out what the force of interest here is by using these values. So what I'm seeing here is that this would be denoted as one minus V to the 20, but V to the 20 would be converted to E to the negative 20 force of interest over force of interest equals to 1.5, uh, one minus E to the negative 10, this, right, over this amount. Now, another thing is that we can get rid of this, right? Um, we can also distribute the 1.5, right? Then one minus, Now, another thing is that we can subtract one from here, v.5. We can also bring this to the other side. So I'll end up getting this. This looks as if it's a quadratic equation. Why? Because we could set e x equals to because this would become x squared minus 1.5x plus 0.5, 0. Now we can use the quadratic equation. So I could set v as negative 1.5 plus or minus radical uh, b squared minus 4a c over 2a 1. Now let's solve. I could do 1.5 5, 2.25 minus 4, 0.5, radical, 0.25, right? So it would be 1.5 plus 0.5 divided by 2. So x would be equal to 1. What if I did it the other way? I did 1.5 minus 1.5 divided by 2. Um, x would also equal 0.5. Now, let's solve for the continuous annuity. Um, if I were to set this equal to 1, I get ln1, ln this 10, yeah, so this would equal to zero. So there's no way that I would be able to find, because I would do 10 this L and E, and the force of interest would definitely not equal zero. So one would not work out, 0.5, let's see, 0.5. So it'd be ln 0.5, negative 10, ln e, right? 
Thank you, Gabrielle. And then the one point five divided by negative ten. So I get that the force image is is point zero six nine three. So that means I can use that to solve for this one, right? So what is the formula for the future value of the continuous energy? It would be, well, the regular would be one plus i to the n minus one over i. So if it were in continuous format, it would be uh, e, uh, yeah, it would be e to the number of years because it's accumulating, so it's not a negative exponent anymore, as opposed to what would happen in a present value sequence. So, e seven times point zero six nine three minus one over point. 0, 6, 9, 3, another continuous, right? I do e and it's seven times nine three minus one divided by point zero six nine three. Then I'll get nine as the answer, which would make it choice D.